the next million dollar question is you who are you and what is your importance as a researcher in qualitative research when it comes to quantitative research yes we have some set of data hmm? uh, we, we, we gathered from some some questionnaires validated everything is proven fine so i give this questionnaire this data to anuradha right and to anura aruna and mr sanga three of you and they will do the basic they will run the correlation analysis regression analysis and they will come with the same result definitely it has to be right i have done that cleaning and i give them a perfect data set and they will run all the uh, equations that i ask them to run and they will come with the ideal or exact same answers but when it comes to the qualitative research if i give you the transcripts of 10 different people right and i ask the same three of you to analyze it will you be able to give me same answers never never ever why the qualitative research is totally based on highly based on your skills your ability your experience and your understanding plus your knowledge into this particular discipline the way i interpret the chaitya right or the height of the lord buddha right could be totally different from yours so the role of you is important in the qualitative research and it is going to be your study and your choice of methodology the same transcription same data qualitative data set or maybe some image can be analyzed using the content content analysis using the thematic analysis or maybe using the grounded theory based on your research objective right so you need to identify what your research methodology going to be and you need to justify that and you are the interpreter you are the interpreter if you are going to follow an interpretivistic research uh, tradition and you think it is as important right you go to jaffna and you see some nice dialogues are uh, friendly dialogues in between the singhalese visitors and the tamil host in front of the nallur kovil and how you see that right are you going to view them as uh, enemies are you going to view them as friends it is totally up to you right however you need to compare the results with some uh, similar studies maybe in sri lanka or published within the international context you need to justify your research methodology and your choices why you selected person a over person b or why you selected this village over the other village you need to understand right why you selected sri lanka then godak vela water in most of the, um, the one of the main issues are, uh, are there with the phd students and the postgraduate student is that they haven't identified the theoretical gap well right so when i ask them to tell their research problems or in a detailed version they come up with okay in sri lanka you need to we haven't done this thing we haven't done that thing okay that is fine it's a researchable issue but what is the contribution to the body of knowledge i'm asking right contribution to the body of knowledge does not necessarily mean that you are you are you are repeating the same tests here in sri lankan context contribution to the body of knowledge doesn't mean that you are introducing a new variable to an existing development a scale no that's wrong that is that is research okay fine but it, that is there's no uh, uh, the, the, the significant contribution to the theory if you want to make a significant theoretical contribution you must identify the theoretical gaps i highly recommend especially for the academics joining here what's your theory and have you read extensively about that theory evolution of that series maybe since 1970s 80s 1990s right? i have read about maybe about 500 different research articles during my phd journey it took me many years yes i did it we we managed to do that and there are i identified okay this is the theoretical gap right so in order to fill that theoretical gap i use the sri lankan context so context is not important right that theoretical gap can should be uh, should be able to apply in other context as well because why we are as phd students we are going to address uh, the international academia right not in the sri lankan context i mean not sri lankan uh, the the professionals not sri lankan uh, scholars as well but you have to be a member of the international academy 
right so identification of the correct territorial gap is vital significant and that can be done mainly with the qualitative research and again you have to be unbiased and stay closer to the data because why in the qualitative research you, interpretation in, interpretation is important you see the singular person and a tamil person huh? uh, they, they, they are having a hug giving a big hug in front of the rio ice cream parlor at the at jaffna and how are you going to interpret it right what type of things you are going to introduce reconciliation divided states uh, free joint states what ethnic harmony you have to be unbiased and stay close to the data there are 100 and different ways that we can interpret a, 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 a kind of a situation right but remember that as a qualitative researcher you have to step outside your conventional or you the, the, the given role to you by the society from your family i know you all are buddhists so but how did you become buddhist most of you are buddhists or what, whatever the religion how did you because because you were born to a kind of a buddhist family or a muslim family or a hindu family you were given a role you were given a role everything has been i mean you have been branded by outsiders right so when it comes to the researchers please forget your identity forget your race forget your uh, uh, the, the, the re religion right you have to be unbiased and the other important thing is uh mr anur yeah is it okay to ask a question sir? a little yes 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 sir yes. you say uh, the research should be unbiased yeah but by nature this qualitative researchers depend on the biasness of the researchers and its sources i the we all are, i mean the biasness coming from our the, the way we have brought up no so right. how can we suddenly go out of that it's like somebody walking out of one's own skin no sir right very good is that possible how yeah. how can we ensure the unbiasedness right thank you thank you mr aruna it's a very uh, very important question how can we uh, stay out of the, our traditional roles or the how, whether we can even uh, um, uh, be unbiased and independent with our data actually that depends on your research integrity for my understanding and your commitment to the body of knowledge and when you uh, i will share my experience I, i told you i was talking about the ethnic nationalism civic nationalism reconciliation and everything so when i go to jaffna as a when i go to jaffna as a buddhist i'm so happy to see so many buddhist temples there and i start Uh, worshiping or uh, offering flowers and doing all the things okay i'm happy as a buddhist but as a hindu how the how the tamil people deal with having so many newly constructed uh, buddhist temples in jaffna it is problematic controversial again so how to get their opinions into our basket into our consideration and into our studies right so in that case the way you ask the questions are important the way you respect to their religions and their cultures are important and finally most importantly the way you triangulate your findings are important the biasness validity i mean the the, the, the biasness is a kind of an issue that comes under validity and reliability people might question how do you say this is true so in order to increase the validity and reliability we have different method right investigator triangulation for example one i go to chafna to do the study and i associate with my colleague one of my colleagues in the jaffna university investigator triangulation and again second one is a methodological triangulation i'm not go only going to interview the people in jaffna but also i'm going to observe their behavior methodological triangulation and then after we have the theoretical triangulation i'm not only going to use the host guest interaction but also i'm going to use some other theories that might help to conduct my study successfully right so there are five main triangulation method so the triangulation method will help you to stay unbiased to the data actually you need to have a bigger commitment 
right to stay unbiased unless otherwise your data will not be representative so when it comes to the interpretation interpretivism approach we have this ethics to stay unbiased you have to report the scenario as it is what has happened and if you are going to be biased to the emotions and your feelings or to your 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 your, your race and the religion you are not good to be a, a researcher for me that's my personal understanding right uh, mr uh, okay sir. Is that okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's sufficient you mean by triangulation we can mitigate the effects definitely. of bias definitely actually we, we have i have a couple of slides to talk about the triangulation we will discuss further don't worry okay sir. right thank you thank you mr aruna yeah and thereafter the most important thing three questions that we have to understand is what why and so in qualitative research then godak will have to say take a literature review right most of you are you really reviewed in the literature uh, when it comes to my postgraduate students okay none of them re are reviewed in the literature instead they are present in the literature you identify a kind of a uh, uh, the catchy statements catchy variables some scholarly work of one researcher and you identify it okay that you report it it was a tamai kene cube ekak ek ar contrast in ekak samarla to bolu da anath long sometimes you might not add that into your literature review you have to understand these three questions what has been reported or what has happened mokadda vela thiyenne mokadda vartha karala thi and then after you have to get into the why context why it has happened why it has reported in this way right or is it similar or different to the other qualitative findings in my area of research why is it important then you come to the last question so what if it is so what will happen next the forecasting thing right maybe the theoretical generalization so what right so the qualitative researchers should be able to get into the minds of the respondents and look into the latent context right i'm sure you have studied about this manifest content and the latent content in the manifest content we call we we talk about the observable content you see a thing and you report it as it is right that is what the newspapers do you see a thing and you and you report it as it is observable content when it comes to latent content you go for the underlying means of it what really happened ah huh? are five wise thing five wise why why it happened why did you do it then he says something why did you do that again we keep on asking the question so as an exploratory qualitative researcher you need to keep on asking these why questions till you find the root cause for your study or this particular research problem so those things are important to keep in mind when you are stepping up in the qualitative research uh, arena okay then i come to the next important question when to use the qualitative method number one if you do not know what to expect api danna mokad di langata wenne kiyala okay you you see some some uh, socially uh, maybe some unrestful situations you see uh, in maybe in anuradhapur area the uh, uh, the people are uh, maybe uh, looting or oh, breaking into the shops right or breaking into the houses still valuable goods right oh, so what will happen tomorrow and if you do not know what to expect right and if you cannot forecast it we have to use the qualitative methods we do not know right the now the this technology adoption of the this young students because of the the covid situation we did not anticipate the the student are uh, committing suicide now many students right maybe handful of them they committed suicide we do not know what to expect but as to social science researchers right we need to focus the scenario cause and effect kakari no na ek effect ek anivar ek there will be something so if we do not know what to expect we have to use the qualitative method and if the cause is unknown 
course it's not unknown okay all of a sudden you go to a kind of a body of water and you see the dead fish floating in the uh, the water surface right so but what do you do basically you you can call this uh, uh, irrigation officers or maybe the police one or nine okay some other officers come is something so what do they basically do first they observe the scenario and then they will start questioning the residents in that area the villages in that area so if the course is unknown definitely we have to ask the question that is qualitative research if the course is unknown and i will share on the story of the, the this molecule uh, i hope you remember way back in 2012 and 13 the suicide ratio of the ltte uh, widows been so high right ltte widows background story ka godak thi you know so a, a, a group of social uh, researchers social scientists were investigating in which right uh, professor i think professor pereira sasanga pereira i the uh, the well known anthropologist from university of colombo he was into it i suppose right so he they went they were digging out this information and ultimately found out that they are committing suicide because of the microfinance people why now this ltt widows they are they were at the age of like 16 to 25 having a kid no husband husband was killed either by the ltt or the army right or during the yeah during the war and they have no way of living no jobs no economic opportunity no resources to live in so they were just you know depending on the whatever the donations they were receiving on a daily basis so all of a sudden uh, sometimes way back in 2011 12 this microfinance uh, companies identified these families are kind of poor right very sensitive and vulnerable and they started giving out the loans 30000 40000 50000 100000 so they were basically giving the money for the people who has no income source who has no income source so these ladies had so many things to attend at home so they attended to the roofing issues and gedra wahala kadilla and the and the clothing and the fence issues or the cattle issues and all those things which were not generating income which were not generating income for this family so maybe one year later two years later these microfinance people uh, come back to these houses asking for the money no they were I mean, they don't have the money right even they didn't have the samurdhi by that time right so and they were subject to harassment from this microfinance people rape cases were reported threats were uh, reported right they have been beaten all those things were happened and as a result these widows start commit start committing suicide with the, with the kids with the infants right it's so see if the cause is unknown like apart from marriage you know we do not know the reason so you uh, we have to use this exploratory qualitative methods and if the data involves with the experience meanings and perspective or the standpoint of the participant we have to use the qualitative methods right i'm, I'm not going to explain deep of those things because we have nine hours left right maybe now eight hours left and again if you cannot give a numerical value to the data okay here comes another small story i uh, uh, my my uh, my master supervisor was prof- famous professor sarath kota government the university of colombo and uh, i was doing this uh, my research on the community based tourism experience in sri lanka so i really wanted to follow a quantitative method to do that but he he was arguing against no manoj you have to follow the qualitative methods because the communities are vulnerable and there are so many socio cultural things involved Uh, um involved with this community development and the tourism and all those things but i was arguing again no sir ara ara study ke mehma tibba me study ke mehma tibba i i i had printed journal copies at my hand so i i really wanted to finish this really quick right uh, i because i have already developed my question here and finally he turned to me and said son if a tree is a tree you do not need statistics to prove it is a tree gahak avila gahak na oya take oppu karanna me sankhya ani avashya ne you don't need the statistics of course you can explain it sufficiently or convincingly 
prove that is a tree by explaining its features. You have the leaves, you have the bark, you have the roots, you have the fruits, you have all these branches, right? Explain the features, then or it will make a tree, right? So that is how we develop our qualitative argument. And again, the, if the numerical values are not strong, sufficient enough to explain a phenomena, right? You need to use the qualitative method, especially about the employee motivation, employee satisfaction, stress, right? The statistics will not speak, but the qualitative, their words, their feelings, you have to look into the uh, person's eye, right? Say, if you're an HR manager, when they are giving the resignation, do not look at the letter, please look at the face. And ask them, yes, puta, what are you eyeing when you can see? Right? Read the feelings. Try to understand what he is trying to communicate. It is important to understand. And if the research problem is about an unattended social issue, we need to use the qualitative methods. And finally, if your intuition says so, if you're an experienced researcher and if your intuition says so, you have to follow the qualitative method. Right? Prerequisites. We spoke about it. Right now, we are jumping into the uh, in vivo uh, project. Okay, I have a couple of questions. Mixed methodology. Okay. Can I share the opening screen just to check what I have? Okay. A new startup screen. Hurry, hurry. I'm gonna. I'm leaving due to fire. Okay, fine. Right. Right. Okay. Any questions so far? Any one or two quick questions I can accommodate? Right. Okay. We are proceeding. Right. Then. Qualitative research, one uh, say. I hope some of there are some academics, those who have done qualitative research. Now tell me, if possible, tell me why people do not like qualitative research. Any idea? I mean, why there are not many research uh, who have researchers who are following the qualitative methodology? Now, we, of course, we have the social science faculties. The people are reporting the information, maybe archaeology, sociology, anthropology. In the Sri Lankan context, it is fine, sufficient, but internationally, they haven't been properly recognized except for a few researchers in Sri Lanka. So what's the, what's the problem here? There are no previous studies uh, carried out to find out the root cause of something, in, especially in case of a peer research, in mm -hmm. that type, peer research. Uh, we have to find the root cause, as you said, uh, mm -hmm. by drilling it down deep into the subject. Yeah. Thank you, Ch thank you, Chandra. Yeah. 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 Correct. Correct. Okay. And I mean, of course, if we do not have these guiding stars, okay, what to follow? That is true. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Asanga. Yes, I think uh, difficult to find the accurate uh, information. I think that uh, information. Uh, it's uh, depending on the people to people and the area to area. Okay, are you referring to the data? Or oh, information related to the research problem or data? I think data. All right, okay. Thank you, Mr. Sangha. Any other perspectives? In a qualitative aspect, uh, uh, this is this may be a very new area. Uh, therefore, we haven't any existing facts, so uh, we don't know uh, what sort of findings we can obtain in future. And findings mm -hmm. may be uncertain in nature. Uh, okay. Likewise, therefore, there is an uncertainty of uh, the findings, findings. Uh, with very comparison good. to the quantitative aspects. Correct, correct. But I don't agree that this is uh, about this thing, about a uh, very new thing. No, th this is not new. Uh, even before the Sri Lankan academics dominated it uh, quantitatively, we started it qualitatively. But I don't know, for some reasons, we lost our integrity half the way. Uh, but yes, on the other hand, uh, we, we cannot 
generalize right and we cannot compare studies in the sri lankan settings we don't have best examples yes thank you mr sandeepan okay. any other yeah and also if the dimensions of our variables are not clear for example the dimensions of spirituality has not been defined in the papers so in that case sometimes we'll have to go for a qualitative study to find dimensions excellent right or it is not only about the finding the made dimensions and if you are into the quantitative studies you have to develop a skill ne are you are you into development of skills mr chandana i uh, yes sir lovely okay that's a hard task huh? by the way yeah 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 that's right every time my supervisor says that you don't are you still have your time <laughs> right i i also develop a scale at one part of my research so i know yeah couple of softwares involved will i use four softwares i suppose any other comment uh, my sense uh, actually the problem is the interpretation because when we do some interviews uh, sometimes it is very difficult for us to interpret the Uh, they are mm-hmm. uh, they are the ideas they are the attitude because different people have different things but uh, the finally we have to have uh, some uh, conclusion so it's a main thing in my sense mm-hmm. that, in, uh, that some people are not willing to do some qualitative studies because sometimes uh, sometimes we have some social theories so when we um, they find some reason for that okay uh, we need to have some the root of such issues that uh, sometimes it's very difficult for us to find uh, in my sense there is a main reason very good excellent yes yes interpretation is hard um, i'm searching for one particular slide a second where is it slide december fraction right okay now here this is one of the studies i conducted and which was which got published with the elsevier towards the management perspectives and in this research we uh, our data sources were trip advisor comments and the comments made by the singhal uh, the singhalese people the, the singhalese people who have been to jaffna so they go to jaffna they identify the tourist destinations and they make comments on the trip advisor I, we know it's a known fact so we identified about 400 of them and we contain analyzed it right and this is the word frequency statistic result that we identified so the so uh, the mostly used word is place and it has been used for 138 times the second most used word is visit it has been used for 129 times third one is jaffna 120 times and fourth place goes to temple it, it has been used for 109 Hundred and nine times by uh, um, by my uh, uh, the the respondents, not respondents, but the reviewers. So, could you please interpret this? I was talking about the ethnic nationalism and the civic nationalism. So, in that discourse, could you please interpret? I mean, please give a guess. You are trying. Who could this animal guess? About Jaffna, you can't Jaffna. You know, tourism. You know, you can't compare with Balan. What can you say about this? So this is content analysis. Output table. Like, can we only generate Karapu? What can you say? He's been visiting to the same place in Jaffna. Every time. No, I mean uh, these are like two uh, hundred odd people. Representation of the uh, trip advisor reviews of more than two hundred people. So is it something like the places to visit in Jaffna are more uh, revolving around temples? No, 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 no. We we cannot combine and give the meanings. No. So means uh, Jaffna is a significant place uh, identified as a Jaffna is a very important place. Yeah, that is true. That's obvious. Okay. What else? What can you say?
there are number of places to visit in jaffna okay there are number of places to visit in jaffna but the overall idea ka denna now we i have identified 20 words 20 20 highly used words most frequently used words oa combine karanne pa ek ek vachana walta ek ek interpretation apita denna puluwa yes i'm rather so we do, do we have to look at only these four words or can no, we no 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 over all 20 words oh, oh, okay okay yeah okay okay mr aruna anything anything that you see so the question is not clear do we have to go overall me or <laughs> yeah you can make an overall judgement by looking mm -hmm. at these 20 words or you can you can come to any, any i mean any any sort of you can you can develop any sort of information by looking at these 20 words all right kafna yeah. gear that's an overall uh, overall view uh, there may be different characteristics of visited places okay right like could you please explain further uh different characteristics means for example beautiful uh okay. history okay. and uh, nice uh, very good very like good like various good. characteristics are included for different different visited places very good okay nice way okay now you are getting it tava So Sri Lanka is a beautiful island which has beaches and uh, uh, can spend a lot of time uh, in uh, Sri Lanka visiting places uh, like uh, temples, a uh, lot of temples in Jaffna, something like that. No, you cannot go to that extent and mm. generalize as uh, with mm. the term Sri Lanka. We mean Jaffna. Can I tell you? The respondents are uh, probably religious. Religious uh, uh, they have made their trips based on religion, because okay. uh, because what I feel the they are interested in the other areas are very less. But when it mm -hmm. comes to temple visit, they are looks like they more interested in religion. So if if I, if I say that they yeah they like to visit temples, ne? Most of them are interested in visiting temples. Is that correct? Mr. Arun? Yes, the source for their visit mm -hmm. is religion. So okay. that's how I feel. It's not even historic, not not the beauty. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, the highlighting one of the highlighting terms is temple. Yeah. Miss Deepika, you raise the hand. Yes, I also see the same thing that uh, mm -hmm. visitors are seen uh, going to Jaffna not because of the beauty and uh, nice and all those things, mm -hmm. but they like to visit yeah. maybe due to the curiosity to visit those places mm -hmm. and like that. Okay. Are then balano vachan ne vachan ganda balano golu. Take them ah word by word. So he has been talking too much of Jaffna, irrespective of what the place and the location or activity is. Okay. Uh, whatever he has been speaking, uh, the most of his interest is on the Jaffna. Okay. Okay. He has been into Jaffna twenty one twenty times, but he has been talking about Jaffna one twenty times. Not uh, he, yeah, they, yeah, about two hundred people. Yeah, they. Yeah. yeah. Are you? So take them word by word. Okay. interpretation yapna is a prominent uh, place in sri lanka in terms of different ethnic groups uh, and the uh, natural phenomena natural phenomena agreed but how do you say uh, different ethnic groups uh, because the temple uh, uh, because usually it's not like you mention a place where there are predominantly buddhist but, uh, okay. but there are temples in jaffna as well so it may indicate that there is a kind of ethnic uh, diversity or we are trying to establish uh, that yeah. a normal sri lankan thinking into that part 
that part yeah all. but but you have to come up with sufficient evidence uh, mr suranga yes yeah okay in the discussion you can do that yeah right but here the term hindu and buddhist christian muslim are not mentioned ne why temple is specifically mentioned when jaffna is not a uh, place prominent for buddhist is my curiosity okay okay who can answer that question maybe the sample is with uh, most of uh, tamil people no i told you it is a singhalese then bauddha id vidara the temple kiyala pavichi ganna pulu that is the thing. but the kovil is not mentioned even single once sorry mr arun kovil kovil is not mentioned anywhere sir it is not mentioned correct correct yes that's another indicator to argue on that okay good ekata apita thaba tool ekak thiyena nv wala nv wala we can go for associated words then we in associated words you can identify the whatever the prefixes and the suffixes whatever the words come before our nouns and after those words ekak api ilang slide ekak man pennana hari da ek ek wachana ran balanna so have you collected this uh, information with uh, only with respect to jaffna area or yes only the the information have been obtained from 13 different destinations in jaffna and which are enlisted at the trip advisor and then this data shows that uh, the whoever who has contributed to this one mm -hmm. talking too much of optimistically about the jaffna region none of uh, negative things are spoken uh, excellent excellent okay please go ahead yeah and uh, so whatever he has been uh, talking is about the positive side of jaffna and and he has given kind of an indication to others to visit jaffna excellent okay jaffna is consist of many places mm -hmm. which we can enjoy and and you mentioned something about this negativity what it could be uh, the perception i get from these words doesn't uh, give me any indication about the negative side of jaffna what what do you mean by that negative side uh uh means uh, to my perception people board beaches islands and all these things oh. we can enjoy yeah correct it doesn't it doesn't mean that uh, i can lose my money or time by visiting jaffna uh 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 okay how ekka kod miss una kiyana but you are almost there with the answer like 90% the key answer here history history is mentioned here now remember we have two aspects to look at first one is the manifest content the other one is the latent content manifest is the observable content and the latent content is the underlying meanings so based on this uh, frequency statistics uh, we can see according to the religion uh, this uh, uh, data so statistical detection is uh, more or less uh, restricted to one religion to uh, nah. buddhist oh, really? aspect only no. because uh, the temple is uh -huh. the temple is the most frequently used one okay. therefore we can we can uh, uh, see, we can say that uh, that is restricted to uh, one religion for the visit hard to agree temple is not you know we don't belong i mean it is not belong to buddhist only uh, right i'll i'll come to the temple word little later okay and look at the some, uh, uh, unstudied uh, areas also may be there okay. during visits mm -hmm. and Unvi maybe unvisited areas also Right. which are not mentioned here and uh, this is restricted to only one part maybe mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay and also it's it shows kind of a forceful uh, um, statement like he has been using the word must 26 times 26 times yes okay 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 it's kind of a bias uh, bias explanations on these uh, destinations it seems Ah uh, right, sorry, Abhi Balu. Okay. Also, it does it mean I'm um, as latent variable that yeah. this is one of the best place in Sri Lanka to visit in terms of uh, ethnic diversity? 
because yes. certain words like one uh, uh, see uh, mm. place might indicate uh, that in our country this is one of the best place where you see the uh, difference especially uh, the ethnic diversity okay right i got it and yeah let me uh, take it from here now again look at the uh, the words man temple again put up the visit is there maybe uh, maybe the 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 uh, the reviewers are recommending us to visit jafna right maybe right and the word must 36 time it is not like a forcefully uh forceful recommendation but rather if he says okay this is a must visit destination and everybody must go and see the the, the sunset and sunrise at the chati beach right so there are there could be different other words associated with it right and again look at the natural attractions that they have identified the boats are there islands are there in jaffna there are temples cultural attractions in jaffna right and they are beautiful they are historic and they are nice right please right so please visit and there are nice waters right and there are things to see uh, the things are well see so those things are there to consider and the latent content the latent content suggests that now now who can tell me the the, the 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 when you hear the term jaffna what comes to your mind first when you hear the term jaffna a war ravaged area exactly mr aruna it's a war ravaged area but you do you see anything related to the war here yeah. That's why I agreed with uh, Mr. Chandana's uh, 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 interpretation. There's no negativity, right? According to his own words, there's no negativity in this uh, data set, these words. The term war hasn't been used. The term bullets or the dozers, whatever the ruins are, haven't been used here. Which means, what does that mean? Anyone? Mr. Chandan again? Yes, uh, it means that he wants, uh, um, he wants to divert the attention only on the optimistic part of Japan. Yeah, I mean, okay, when it comes to the tourism terms, I can say they so are more. It, in, uh, yeah. Is it uh, a, a safe place to visit? Is that what I mean? Sorry, Ms. Navada? Is it that is it meaning that it's a safe place to visit? Yeah, definitely, like yeah, definitely a safe place to visit. Correct. But again, with the historical value. Yeah, with the historical value that is also there. But the, the also it seems that uh, most of those reviewers are from the Jaffna area side, maybe raw victims. No, 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 no. They, they are from the southern oh. part. I looked at their names. Okay. Yeah. But then uh, actually people do enjoy. enjoy Good, 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 yes, Mr. Aruna. Yeah, people do enjoy visiting uh, Jaffna. Thank you, thank you. People do enjoy. They are looking at the cultural attractions in Jaffna, natural attractions in Jaffna. No longer they are into this war and the war related things. They don't want to even visit the, I mean, the, the, the Jaffna fort to see the war release. But so most of our Sinhalese likes to visit some of the ruin areas like uh, Prabhakaran's house and also uh, Hazalaka Gamini's statue. Good, good. Why yeah. they have not mentioned about this thing is mm -hmm. that they have been from Jaffna area or, 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 or somebody who's, who doesn't like the go and it's uh, after effects. Now, uh, the, the thing here, the import, what we have to understand importantly is that we are on our way to this civic nationalism from ethnic nationalism. And definitely, Sri Lankan Bo is ravaged by the, the, the religion and the ethnicity and all these issues. But now that 10 years after the war, people have, maybe they have, they might have understood the, 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 the price that we have paid and the importance of the reconciliation. And again, they have perceived Jaffna as any other destinations in Sri Lanka in terms of tourism. So they are more, they are more interested in the cultural attractions, natural attractions of, of Jaffna. And they are, sometimes they might not like the Hasalaka Gamini statue. Similarly, that they do not like the the, the uh, uh, 
the in front of nallur kovil we had another statue the mahaviru statue kind of a thing the tilipan memorial yes it has all it, it it has already been removed by the government they don't like to talk about it right so this indicates some signs of reconciliation some signs of reconciliation people are no longer interested about the jaffna and the aftermath of jaffna right they into natural and cultural attractions they like it right actually we we, we participate we conducted so many interviews uh, in jaffna with the singleist those who have visited and we, we asked okay what is the highlight in point of your jaffna journey and most of them said okay to nalur kovi and some of the kids said it is a trio, trio ice cream there you get like five scoops of ice cream with different flavors and the colors and the jellies and chocolates and everything now see this is that is where the interpretation should come from okay you have to look at the latent content and the nvo will help you to do that right i am i sir, small excuse yeah. me sir yeah, uh, like is it uh, is it justifiable for us to uh, make a suggestion or like come to a conclusion based on these words because for an example when we say waters it could be even Uh, without looking at the prefixes or the suffixes it could be even be polluted waters they must be talking yeah, yeah. about polluted waters very good so yeah yeah we, it it is hard so we have this word search query apeka okay. karala balum kohomada karanne kiyala so, right especially if you are going to talk about any of these words selectively you need to talk about the associated words and here you can see right the nvo software will help you to identify now when it comes to the place good place beautiful place peaceful place holy place magnificent place and there are more right suggesting words convincing words right inviting words isn't it look at the temple huge temple kanda swami temple historic temple heritage temple beautiful temple gorgeous temple buddhist temple sangamita temple hindu temple see so these things can be easily found uh, can be identified through the nvo software clear okay sir so, yeah 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 mr arun so, uh, actually to uh, 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 um, come to a better understand i think i isn't it that uh, so it's uh, you should have first shown us this table rather than the previous the other one, one. okay <laughs> yeah because <laughs> this actually gives it a very clear idea what has really happened mm. in those things okay. the first one is uh, actually we were going everywhere because there were too many words and we could not really understand in what context these words yeah. were so actually how it, it is used uh, in this form mm. or the previous form actually uh, when it comes to the data reporting of the content analysis make content analysis method data when you are, when it comes to the data reporting you have to report the previous this slide first and thereafter you can identify the most repetitive or most significant words and thereafter in the discussion you can uh, mention about these words and with the elaborations and with the quotations right you can cite our reviewer one reviewer two right and the recommendations and everything it is essential that you report the word frequency analysis first and there have to be come to the associated words they make it ogolan to unnang waters gena unnang if you need the history you can perform a quick word frequency analysis word search analysis and identify these words okay is that what we call hermeneutics okay. sorry semiotics ah yeah hermeneutics you are you referring to semiotics hermeneutics uh, hermeneutics no i haven't studied no, hermeneutics you can writing of texts uh could be could be i need to go through that right if you have a nice article please uh, share me uh, share with me mr chandana it's it's uh, with uh, it's it's in the uh, professor uyangoda's book all ah, right okay 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 could be right there are i mean there are so many research methods right i, I will go through that as well Rewriting in uh, ekka hemma mat ganne berge. Usually rewriting comes with this. Uh, for me, to my understanding, with the chronicles, right, or maybe some verses. For example, under this Hasalaka Gamini statue, there's a nice verse written by the Sri Lankan army. 
right? And we can interpret it that in my goodness in different ways, and we can rewrite its meaning, right? I mean, I I feel it is into that, but not here. Yeah, yeah, yes. In according to that book, it, it says the modern humanities. All ah, right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you about that. Uh, the, the mentioning those that word, and I will go through that as well. Yeah. So um. Yeah, I'm going to take like a five minutes break and thereafter we will jump into the software about importing uh, and, uh, ex and uh, importing the data, right? And making your station clean, free and organizing and categorizing, right? I'm going to take five minutes. Please stay with us. Thank you.
Hello, class. Welcome back. Someone is asking <laughs> whether they can see me. Okay. Of course, sure. Yeah. Mr. Aruna, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, so we sir, can we hear can you. Hear. We can hear you. All right, okay. No, Mr. Arno wants to see me. I'm waiting till uh, he comes to uh, switch on my camera. I do request it. Oh, really? No, I like to see you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. I'm at home. Huh? The, the background may not be. Excellent. So you 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 have to switch on your cameras as well so that I can see you as well. You can uh, switch on. Yeah, great. And then hi 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 hi. Welcome all. We all at home to, today. Uh, yeah, same bit. here. Same here. Kids are shouting and so many issues. <laughs> so as here. So as here. Yeah. Even my kid is shouting. Ah, uh, Mr. Arun is there. Mr. Arun, which newspaper you are attached to? You, you are muted. You are muted. You are muted. Sun, Sunday Times and Daily Mirror. I am in the production department, sir. All ah, right. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I, I frequently write to Sunday Times. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, who is that editorial? The second kind of an editor, uh, a Muslim gentleman is there. He usually the business section. No, Mr. Uh, Faisal Samad. Faisal Samad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Faisal, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Faisal is there. Mr. Amin is there. Right. I'm very yeah. much in touch with Mr. Faisal. I mean, at yeah. least once a once a month, an article of mine appears at the Sunday Times. At least okay. once a month, and I'm I'm also kind of a writer. The social issues, That's, this and that. Yeah, you have to be. <laughs> and recently, last week uh, or the week before, I wrote about this uh, brain drain. Right, and what happens thereafter? I sent it to this uh, the island Tuesday, and the Wednesday morning they published in the in the mid paper with the with a Basil's cartoon on it. <laughs> 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 because yeah, they were with Basil and some flight, and I I was kind of so oh, it's what did not they connected, do? sir. The the context is no, not connected to the cartoon. Kind of connected, but that cartoon was criticizing the government. Uh -huh. I didn't really want it because yeah, I'm also yeah. part of the, I mean, yeah, government employees need mm -hmm. end of the day. I didn't want that, but it was there, but fine. And uh, editorially, it was uh, kind of praised by the editor there. The article. Yeah, okay. Now we know each other. Great. So nice to uh, uh, see you all. The beautiful place, uh, the faces, right? And we can continue our yeah. discussion. Yeah. So would it be possible to keep the video on, sir? You are saying it will be really nice actually seeing you talking. <laughs> okay. The video. Uh, the thing is, I'm I'm at home and. Uh, but okay, 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 fine. I, yeah, I can. Say it's perfectly okay, sir. Thank you. Right. Okay. Can you see me well? Yes. Yes. Sir. Yes. Okay. Fine. Fine. Perfect. Yeah. And sometimes you see my uh, my wife and my mother-in-law will go here and there. I right? just you know. <laughs> Or maybe the maid here. Right, okay. Now we are going to move into the okay. Okay. I open it. Uh, yeah, I, I remember this story. Uh, I was studying in uh, Thailand way back 2013 and 14. And at the National Institute of Development Administration, there was this very pretty professor. I can remember her name. And she was very funny as well. And when we get bored, you know, we used to pinch the other guy from, you know, we had the class, class from 18 different countries, about 60 students. And then what she says is, boys, don't start pinching yourself. If you are so tired, look at me. 
and we we <laughs> there after that we were not looking at the board we were looking at her and just and she used to wear a very nice uh, sunny hat even inside the classroom and we are in this uh sunglasses and everything very stylish we really like her yeah. <laughs> okay right so my presentation right introducing and you and setting up a project right and why why we need the computer aid for our uh, research that is important to understand when we the uh, when we are engaged with some qualitative work uh, usually we have a lot of printed materials books journal articles right with us and uh, we, we 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 take the printouts and it is all over our desk our workstation I can remember, remember I was given a very nice comfy office when I was ready for my PhD and all my colleagues offices were like a mess right they had almost everything on the desk on the sofa on the fridge and on the on the almost everywhere on the coffee table right in the office and however in my office there was nothing I just had two computers just like today with me one is for the studies the other one for the software because i was afraid of the soft, uh, the viruses and everything and uh, uh, when my professors and other mentors my peers they entered to the room they were asking the question aren't aren't you reading for a phd i said i was reading i, I am reading for a phd and they were asking okay where are your books where are your journal papers publications where are your notes and everything i said okay i got everything inside my laptop I got everything inside my laptop, not exactly in laptop, but inside the software, inside the NVIVO software. So one of the main advantages of the NVIVO software is that you can manage your data, right? And you can organize your data. You can categorize your data, which will help you to interpret your findings more successfully. It is important to understand, right? and the software packages will always come to organize your data but remember software packages will not interpret your data yesterday i was conducting a, a workshop to the open university there were about 70 academics there and this one professor i, I wrote his professor shanmugeswaram right professor shanmugeswaram from the social science faculty maybe and he was he was saying yeah he was keep on saying dr mano this is a data storing software i said yes 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 and he was saying it will not interpret the data i'm saying yes yes it will not interpret the data correct exactly but for some point he, he has misunderstood the software it will not do the interpretation for us right but it will carry out some of the actions or commands that we ask them to do right it will do the word frequencies it will go for the text search queries do this and that but it will not give the interpretation it will not take an image and it will not say okay according to this image this person is this type of a person uh, uh, that that, that uh, or oh, maybe this situation the frustration katandra no it will not come you will be able to store your data uh, in an effective manner which will make you stay closer to the data it is important when we have some transcriptions say 10 transcriptions we may say i'm sorry i'm sorry yeah no. yeah so uh when you, uh, the, the the software will help you to categorize properly and i was talking about the transcriptions a uh, one hour transcription will cost you like 10 pages of an uh, uh, the in the transcript one hour interview 
will cost you 10 pages of a transcript and it is a time consuming process and reading it coordinate it's a time consuming thing so we have to be a little bit careful with that and the software will ease your pain so it is and again it is not only the nvivo software that we are having out there in the market but also the softwares like lexiomens is there frost is there fsqca fsqca is another brand new software that the qualitative researchers have seen during this last couple of years i i i i was privileged enough to learn the same software from the developer itself professor ark woodside from new zealand i think yeah and if the fsqc a fuzzy set qualitative comparative analysis software is, it, it lies in between the qualitative research and the quantitative research and it it, it is using boolean algebra so there's a particular uh, algebra called boolean algebra so we were uh, able to make some um, some 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 equations some different combinations and making uh, forecast on the probability of happening something right so it's a different thing we can take some other times to talk about it so it is not only the nvo that we are having out there in the market uh, and we are having different other qualitative software yes Shiranya, yes max qda is there t lab is there simstat is there web qda is there right so there are so many um, qualitative data analysis software out there so nvivo has is a computer software program designed for managing qualitative data and carrying out qualitative analysis but it does not analyze qualitative data for the researcher but rather can enhance researchers analytical capacity especially with the coding because the thematic analysis well content analysis well we have to highly rely on the coding we might have to code a word a phrase a sentence or maybe a paragraph but we do not know how to combine them together for category development focus coding or themes development and the the envivo software will i mean it, the, the functions are so easy to when it comes to the combination right that is where the researchers get lost doing the manual coding and manual analysis so the envivo software will really improve your uh, analytical ability and thereafter we have uh, i mean according to scopus the nvo has got 157 percent citations of more than any other qualitative data analysis solution so this is the most recognized and widely available or mostly accepted qualitative data analysis software in the world and it is also the only software with 3 million actually 1.5 million was there in way back in 2018 now in 2021 we have about 3 million users across the globe again available in 28 different languages right you know the, the software can read the words read the characters are used in a kind of a binary code right the, the computer people knows it better than me so but it cannot read singly so far because in sri lanka we do not have more than maybe 20 uh nvivo licenses so we don't right so we do not have it that the nvivo has not introduced the singular term here but it will read your transcript and it will try to identify the patterns of the data repetitions frequencies right frequencies of the paragraphs sometimes right or maybe certain sentences so we will be able to combine them together so allows you to classify sort and arrange many type of non-numerical data such as field notes videos audios recordings word documents etc now one of the main one of the main problems of our qualitative research is One of the main problems with our qualitative uh, uh, researchers is that they highly rely on interview, inter interviews and the interview transcripts. Right, Inter interviews, basically. But how about other data? How about the audios? How about the videos? How about the images? How about the newspaper articles? You know, I have analyzed newspaper articles from 2009 to 2019 about the, what, what has been written about Jaffna. So they are new sources of data and of course we can use them, right? Or else if you, are, if you like to learn about the discourse analysis, how the language has been used, definitely you can use, uh, uh, you, you, can, you can get the William Shakespeare's book, right? Or maybe Charles Dickens' book, or maybe the or maybe the uh, authors from the from the recent history and compare how the terms and the idioms and the phrases have been used i mean there are there is a large pool of data but unfortunately we are cornered to one particular data set which is the interviews right 
but there are more than that abhi observation ekak kunat ah we are not doing it nicely we are not doing it correctly we are not doing it scientifically but it, there is a, a huge opportunity for you to use different types of data sources and it helps to examine the relationship between the data it provides an organized storage system helps to analyze your data to determine relationships and themes and you can visualize your project and draw models and the charts using the nvo and it keep the researcher closer to the data that is the most important thing because you will feel like everything is at your hand it is on it is not all over your desk and some of the key terms in nvo include and now these things are important to remember because i will be asking you to go to the sources go to the codes go to the um, this and that in the make chutta matrithi agan the sources are basically the research materials could be documents pdfs data sets audios videos pictures etc and there after we have the codes codes are basically containers of your coding right whatever the things important things that you code code can api andura ganna mona hari my main key phrase ek api research ekata wedagath me api respondent kene kisiyamu comment ekak karana eka wedagath right then you grab it right and you code them separately you you take it and you put it somewhere you store it somewhere that is the coding process okay you visualize yourself playing with your kid in a kind of a, a pool of rubber balls or plastic balls ah uh, oh yeah mcdonald's again you know kfc again you know there's a big play pen right there has there are a lot of plastic or rubber balls in it right mostly plastic so uh, the kids really love it and it it got like 10 different colors part of the hack with rati you know and uh, those plastic balls are pieces of your data just remember you got yellow data you got green data you got brown data you got pink data you got red data that data you yet to be processed and coding is the pro and again you have some baskets in different colors yellow basket that you know brown basket that you know rathwala basket that you know this and that they are the codes remember they are the codes e what can the codes kill curved codes are the containers of your data so the balls are pieces of data so the now you have to pick the yellow balls and put them into the yellow basket you have to pick the green ball and put them into the green basket right that process is called coding i hope it is clear data codes and coding right so when you have all the balls all the yellow balls in the yellow basket then you get the similar type of information ekka jathiya wasama etana thiyenne which helps you to analyze them and which again help you to combine different meaning uh, generate different meanings by looking at the nature of those uh, pieces of data and then we come to the cases cases are basically your units of observation they could be people they could be places they could be some organizations if it when it comes to a case study or they could be artifacts they could be images right they could be some audios they could be some literary sources they are known as cases and then we have the memos remember we have if you are doing research social science research you have to use the memos the memos will help you to identify this latent content i was talking about you ask some questions from your respondents and you feel okay yeah me gonna make i care like you there's something that you get into your inner side uh, which cannot be written down so usually i go to my i go to the data collection with my uh, trained uh, data collectors right some of them are my postgraduate students i ask them to ask the question and then i read the behavior of this respondents maybe how they struggle they have shoulder or look in the other way spit on the floor or maybe dig in a hole uh, in the floor right those things we they are observable content you can read them out and again you have to match their their their, their feelings or their non verbal cues against what they were saying right eglo kiyana deyat ekak meka match karanna one then you will get the real picture of this dialogue right habe eva we it is hard to of course we can put them into the transcription but we can add them as separate memos right and those memos with and are backed by your ideas right your experience can be later um uh, uploaded to the nvo okay so now we come to the 
in vivo opening uh, the in your slide actually i'm having 12.1 as i told earlier uh, you are having 12.2 but do not worry uh, i will quickly go through these slides and thereafter let's ask one of your colleagues to share it and thereafter we can discuss so open the project we can give the file name sorry again of katakrams right okay who want to work with me yeah i need to have a volunteer with the in uh, software Okay, I would do it, sir. Thank you, Mr. Aruna. I have the new version installed, sir. And I am at the opening. Yeah, please share that. Please share the software in Zoom. At the software, double click. Please open it. Right, wait there. Right. At the main screen, Miss Deepa. Done. Yes. Yes. Or during a hand. Mr. Anuradha. Yes, yes, I am with you, sir. I'm great, okay. Mr. Suranga? Done, sir. Done, okay. Yes, yeah, sir. Done. Mr. Suranga, sir, I am having. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir, I am having the 12 plus. I think it's all right. I mean, I don't, I don't, I think we have downloaded the older version. Ah, perfect. No worries. Right. Monkey are the naked fashion. Almost said. After me, they came in me. Interface with try in us in colors and this and that, right? Not the main, in, uh, not the main analytical tools. Mr. Chandan, everything all right at your end? So, yes, sir, I'm, I'm opening. Right, okay. So I'll leave in a few minutes. Ah, you are leaving? Okay, fine. Yeah. But still, I'll be on uh, uh, through mobile. All right, okay. Miss Sandeepani, you open it. Miss Sandeepani, I didn't hear you. Yes, sir, I have right. opened already. Right, great. Naoda, Naudya. Yes, sir. Right. Done. Nishadi, are you okay? Miss Nishadi? Nishadi, we cannot hear you. Gum Pati Rada. Miss Nishadi? I know. Mr. Pujita, hello? Mr. Pujita? Katina, Tebon Gila. Horu Alagan Pulang Villa, right? Then make it a step back, no, not the Mr. Hanna Marika. It's not like the SPSS. Mr. Suranga, are you there? Yes, I'm there. Open Karagatane? Oh, sir, open Karagatane. Right. Mr. Prasanna, open it. Mr. Prasanna, you open it. This person has a problem with your sound device. You have to click on the mute and uh, enable sounds. Right, fine. Sir, sir, may shape pick a comma, sir, may make the other shape pick a screen. Nick that a press neck, not the name, the mechanic title. May I press on that? See that perfectly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Okay. You also see the same screen. Yeah. Then, Matakatiaga, let me. Yeah, thank you, Nishadi. Uh, now, remember. Now, can you remember where you have stored my file? Mangara yobu file leka save karbu thana matagal. Atiram. It is very important where you save. Yes. It could be my documents. It could be a downloads. It could be some other C O D drive. But remember where you have stored it. Like matagal netang I should take him balan na koi the tiye ni kiya because we have to find that location and save this project. 
Okay. okay, and and again, we are going to generate about maybe uh, about a dozen of different reports, and I need to I need to save all these reports in that particular folder, right? Egatte kama mang ogolan tevalaji kind of a codec file, a media player that also need to be installed in your computer because we have this image, sorry, we have this video analysis thing to learn. Now this uh, NVivo 12 doesn't come with the, the, now this is a trial version. The trial version does not come with that, right? This video thing. So you need to manually install it separately. That is why I sent you the codec file. You need to install that. Come on, my video analysis. Maybe at home you can do that later. So uh, assuming you all have this particular welcome screen. Now we are going to start it. Right, Kagao there are winner screen. Sir, Mangab. Now, the, this is like uh, 12.1. May I see in 12.2, Mr. Arun Shakalatine? Sir, I may open the ace a Katama Matatibule. Ah, perfect. Then, sir, the end of 12 plus. Ah, hurry, hurry, come on. A will 12.1. Don't worry. Eka Eka was easy. Right. Now we are going to uh, work on our project, right? And remember, this is a heavy software and it will consume a great deal of your RAM, RAM, the random access memory. So make sure, do not try to, do not attempt to run heavy soft, some other heavy softwares parallelly. Make a take when a software is open, computer slow, you know, it will start not responding. In that case, you have to wait a couple of minutes. Right, so please close down all other heavy softwares. Me um, not the Zoom, right? Um, WhatsApp, please close them down and give the preference to this particular NVO platform. Okay, and right, okay. Now, first thing first, just then up here. SPSS got to kill him a working table. Like a we will directly run into our working interface. But here we have to create a project, right? Unlike the SPSS. So the there are four main boxes, as you can see. The new project, sample project, multi-dimension, and sample project automatically inside, automated inside, and the more sample projects. The second one is sample project, multi-method in the sense, right? There is an inbuilt in project that comes with the end view and that has already been installed in your computer. You can go, go through it. You can go through the data sources, codes, analytical methods. So as the second one, sample project, automated insights, and there is a video in it, you can, Take the virtual tour and get some insights into it. The third uh, or the fourth one is the more sample project. You can be, uh, click on that and you can download some, uh, say, sample projects from the QSR International. But within these two weeks, you will not be able to do those things. Sample project multi method, try to make something out of it. Right. So let's click on new project mr aruna yes and here there are two steps when it comes to creation of new project the first one during the first step you have to give a name you just put a name like in vivo test or something or any other name right okay now the second thing you have to decide where you are going to save your project now mr aruna please click on the browse and identify the location where you have saved your in vivo information all right okay go back 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 one step back yes just say, just say we, yeah. It will save. Sir, okay. save. <coughs> Excuse me, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Sir, metana di save karan one aram in vivo program ke save karu pata hai na? Tha sir, apni tevva me mana wada file lekar. Mangyo bu folder ka save karu pata hai na? Tiyaga. 
It is easy. Yeah. Then the description box is there. Usually we use the description box when we are running couple of project entries together. And also the NBO has this web-based analytical method where the uh, researchers are encouraged to share their data sets online with other researchers for cross-coding purposes. I think up your current method, we can leave that description box, box as it is. We can leave it empty. And thereafter, you can find the text content language, English US, English US, uh, the UK, Tao Spanish, Tino, Hindi, Tino. There are a couple of languages, but we can stick to the English UK or US, anything, right? And then you can click on next. Now here, this is important. As I told you, the NVivo project is a heavy software and you are doing a PhD. Now coding is a, is a very, I mean, you know, it's a time consuming effort, right? And for 15, uh, during 30 minutes, you, you can do maybe a couple of, uh, maybe a couple of dozens of coding, right? But in the event of a kind of a power failure, you might tend to lose all the data. Ehinda, we need to set some time here to save and uh, remind us the project at every 10 minutes or 15 minutes time. Then make them by default 15. I will at any have a maggie PhD. The also mom make a binary antima or the nominee for him part of my master in here, but you can keep it as it is the 15 minutes. The first one, right? Uh, and second one is the recovery file again in case of a, a power failure or a virus attack kind of a thing. You can create a recovery file for every 30 minutes or every one day or every week time, right? Different um, options are there, right? Recovery file location, it will be automatically saved in my documents. Then you will get confused. If you're done with both steps, you can click on create project and you can proceed. Yes, please click on create project. It will take maybe a couple of seconds based on the com your computer's performance. Mr. Hiral, Giral? Yes, sir. Yeah, are you okay? Uh, I couldn't install, sir. It's asking me to re uh, reinstall it and restart the PC. So I'm okay. taking down the print screens and uh, I will do it in the evening, sir. Right, okay, right. Now here we have a, a virtual tour again, if you like at home, you can go through it, but you are not going to take the virtual tour now because we are going to discuss each and every step here. So you can skip the tour, top right hand corner, Mr. Aruna, top right hand corner. You can skip it, top right hand corner, top, top, top. Yeah. Okay. Now you can, and there are different types of messages will appear when you click on different icons in the uh, in the navigation view. Right. And in the bottom, you have this close icon. You can click on and close. May, may, may files, right, and the codes, you will get this type of a message and you need to close it at all the time, right? Still, it, it come because uh, this is the first time you are using. Of course, if, if you're interested, you can read and learn uh, from that as well. So please close that uh, thing from the bottom. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Aruna. Now uh, you may uh, stop share. I have a small slide to share. Again. Thank you. Okay, and uh, Miss Naudia, are you okay? Did you get this? Sir, yes, sir. I know. But, sir, Muling, our Apni Namadu na te passe save kara te passe utni im passe. Mata me kya steps deka kpenu ve na utni im passe okay karam sir. Okay karam me kani da ve. Aodya, you got this? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Uh, Who's that deep? Is, is it Miss Deepa? Oh, I'm brother. Yeah, yes, sir. Miss Deepa. I have another. Okay. Yes, hi. I have a blank document. File home import create. 
टूल बार लाइक नीते टूल बार लाइक दे पढ़ा शेयर करना Can you see the screen, sir? No, I uh, still no. We cannot see the screen. The thing, hurry! Now, what's the problem here? Okay. Okay. No, it, it's fine. It's fine. Fine. Thank you. You know, you may stop share. Right. Going back to our. Slide. Right. So let's try to understand what these uh, different features and functions are. So first thing, in the top you see the ribbon, ribbon, and ribbon contains all the commands that you can use in an NVivo project. In your project, take a command. Then me ribbon neka hara. Always remember when I say ribbon, your cursor should be here, right, left, right, and the center. And the second important part of the NVivo workspace is the navigation view. In the navigation through the navigation view, you will be able to go for the different data sources, specification, your codes. Maps, output files, and everything. If you, especially if you need to open something, you need to take your cursor here. You need to click just one click for the data or the files and everything. Up here, is that how that goes? And then after there will be a small file appearing here. The containers of the or the whatever whatever you have in those files, right? Or the codes, codes. That's why you make a pen, no? Because the codes are pen, right? And after clicking here, you will be able to open. The file in the right hand detail view. Make it again a detail view. It and then we come to the list view, right? List view is the now. These are small, small codes. Make it my codes here. Codes contain your data, right? Categories, themes, right? Developments, all theory developments. And when you double click or one click on any of these codes. The whatever it has will appear under the detail view, right? So remember that. And these are the data sources that we can upload or import to the NVivo platform. First, word documents, rich text format, emnatang RTF files. We can upload books, research articles, in capture. There's a Another different thing about in capture, right? A uh, different uh, file format that can be read only through the NVivo. Photos you can upload photos, you can upload audio files, and you can upload video files into the NVivo workspace workstation. And uh, the other thing is that you can upload Excel files, SPSS files, Mendeley data. Our Mendeley data and your emails. You can link this to OneNote or the Outlook and get some uh, data imported to your NVivo project, right? because they are not really into us. And however, the end capture is here. This tool is very much important when we are analyzing the data, right? Yes, sir. So, articles and books PDF. Yeah, these are by file type. It is PDF. Thank you, sir. So uh, the sources in NVivo, remember, you can upload the word DOC or DOCX documents, RTF files, and word documents even you can edit them in the NVivo. RTF files, yes, you can edit again. PDF files, right? Audio files, movie files, web pages like the InCapture, survey data, and the spreadsheet format or the Excel files can be imported to the NVivo. Right. Okay. Now we are going to do a little activity. Shall we do that? Who wants to work with me?
Miss Hirana, shall we work? Uh, okay, sir. Okay. Thank I wish you. Yeah. Thank you. Great. So this is the workstation that we have to work. And then what am I Can you remember where you have uh, yes. saved your data? Right. Yes. Right. Okay. Now, first thing, first, then uh, Peter, now um, in NVO, we need, we, we are using this term import to upload the external files into the NVO project. We use the term import. So in order to import the data, what you have, there are a couple of ways doing it. You can take your cursor to this white space, any of the places, you can right click. And here you can see import items, import survey, import from, new file export list all these uh, options are there but we are going to use the import item this yeah so when you click the import items it will take you through your computer now, now you need to identify where you have saved the uh, your data please go to the japura folder and go to the lecture materials beach boys the first one back beach boys yeah now here you can see different types of data, including books, interview transcripts, literature, in capture, photos, recordings, videos, etc. So let's begin with the books and let's see whether we can import a book. And here we go, you find one book, book of health and wellness, you select it and then you hit open. And you import it. It will take a couple of seconds based on your computer's performance to get it imported into our workstation. Yeah, now, okay. Okay, now we have a book imported into our workstation. Uh, Hirane, could you please double click this book and check whether you can read it? Now see there's a book and now we need to be careful about the number of pages. Could you please go to the, uh, the last page and check the page number? Again, the page is key of the key. 400. I, it's a 400 uh, pages book, kind of a big book, right? Remember, the NVO is strong and it can read a couple of books like this at the same time. Actually, I have tried with 10 different books up to like 5,000 or 6,000 pages. Yes, without having any issue, I was able to analyze the uh, the books, right? It's in literature review, same content analysis, same release, same current problem. Okay. Now, please close that file. Danita to open Kalabalana. Close Karan and unlock it. Right. Thank you. Great. Now, go take your cursor again. Follow the same steps. Right click. Go to the interview transcripts. Now, there are 11 different files. Neva, Wait, sir, can, yeah. can you go back a little? Uh, yeah. I opened the book. Okay. And then what do I have to do? Uh, I mean, did you import the book into the NVO? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now can you read it? Yes. You just have to close it. Open the icon. Come close. Open flat. Okay. Yeah, close it. Yeah. Okay, but still you have this book, right? In the yes. file. Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yes. Now, Hirani, we can go to the interview transcripts. Now there are 11 interview transcripts, raw data. They haven't been cleaned. There are language issues and everything. My uh, some of our research assistants did some couple of years back. So select all of them up to 11. Interview transcript, where is it, sir? It is in the main, uh, this Beach Boys folder itself. Ah, I had to go to the Beach Boys folder. Again, yeah. Now everything they are in the Beach Boys folder, we are going to import. Uh, how do I go back? Uh, no. Yes, Hirane, now you can open it. Now import again, import again. 
put some sugar. Just take a couple of seconds. Mr. Andrade, are you okay? Um, no, I'm, I I couldn't go back to the beach for. for All right, okay. I will I will come to you. Uh, now, Miss Hirana, yes, you can keep on importing all other things inside that Beach Boys folder and you may stop share. Okay. No. Right. You may stop share. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, Mr. Anuradha can share your screen. Um, Please share your screen. Okay, just a moment. I... Screen. Okay, sir. Can you see my? No. Not yet. Not yet. Excuse yes, me, sir. sir. Yes, now there. Sir, are we going to import those photographs as well? If yes, all. Yes. yes. Okay, sir. Okay. So then, if that, then in capture, we will have to find that. That is, one berry day. And it will serve us. Mr. Done? Yeah, I, I'm sharing the screen. One second. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir, I was unable to open the document at the beginning, sir. Okay. Uh, sir, in my window, it is mentioned that projects created in this version of NVivo cannot be opened in previous versions, likewise. Initial window, sir. Okay. Uh, that is I tried. Too. Okay. I, I will come. I will come to you. Okay. Yeah, I will come to you. Yeah. Can you see my screen, sir? I can see your screen, uh, Mr. Andrade. Okay, what a maximize screen? All right. Come on. Anyway, now from where did you get this event log? Take a closer, no? you don't need that. Uh, okay, I need to close this. Yes, please. Okay. Close now click, click now home is there. Take your cursor to the left corner. One particular cursor and you part a stripe ticket. You'll part a tear water gun. You can click on part of Right, here we go. Okay, now this is the working uh, space. Now please take your cursor to the white white uh, uh, space. Yes. Right click again. Right click. Ah, right click. Okay. Import items. Now we open the three lecture materials. Which boys are click on. Can you move the the address by it? Are Then an interview transcript sort. Second. Open. Select all. Select or select all parts. You know, I have to click uh, each one separate. Great. Okay. okay. Open. Import. Harini? Yeah. Likewise, you can import all other documents, huh? other right. uh, data sources. Uh, can we, shall we help our good friend, uh, Miss Sandeep? Could you please share? Okay, sir. Do you have two computers with you? Yes, sir. We are here in a kind of an echo. Hello, sir. Right, okay. Then, now, what is the problem here? Sir, sir, in here, you mentioned earlier to me, uh, input a project page. Yes, sir. Then, I yeah. have uh, the then, uh, in vivo test ah, yeah, likewise i, I, I have I, included there I then sir okay okay listen uh, please close this close this window here. okay sir. and close the main window as well yes right yes. you just say i go open karan
වෙන කටරි ගැටලු තියෙනවද have you imported each and every uh, source each and every source in that folder the video will not be imported no, sir. video video එක import කරන්න අර codec file එක import කරන්න ඕන yes yes okay so we are trying yeah i have an issue sir yes deepa please my share. is also not working sir api passes sandeepa temu ඊට පස්සේ yes deepa please share miss deepa quick yes sir look. මේ මොකද මේ කැනින් what is that yeah please share again this is the document miss deepa please share your screen yeah yes yes sir this is the document hari mokad thin prashne right click I can. Ho 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 ho. Uh, you are in the wrong place. Yes, I should get the. No, no. Go. Please go back. One step back. Back. Yes. Go to the. Uh, go to the other folder. The top one, first one. This one. Oh. Open. Go to Japura. go to the first folder again open go to the books ek double click karan to open now click on the book and hit open okay. import okay okay fine ek tomake we we need to know where we have stored the data right okay again okay thank you right ms sandeepa back to you oh sir i rece- i got a uh, window welcome to nvivo trial hari may Please i share it? may yes, i yes, yes. okay sir. now get, did you get yourself registered with your name and the contact contact information ah, okay launch sir, nvivo hari now did you in- enter your personal information yeah sir window හරි වෙන කටහරි ගැටලු තියෙනවද කට්ටිය අප්ලෝඩ් කරලා ඉම්පෝට් කරලා ඉවරයි සේරම මිස් මිස්ටෝ මිස් අසෝකා සෝරි සර් ආම් යුසින් මයි මොබයිල් මිස් අසෝකා වෙල්කම් ටු ද ප්‍රෝග්‍රෑම් වෙයර් වර් යු ඇට් ද බිගිනින් ඇක්චුලි ඉන් මයි ඔෆිස් දෙර් වොස් අනදර ෆන්ක්ෂන් සෝ ආයි හැඩ් ටු ඇටෙන්ඩ් දැට් වෙල් ඉන් මයි ඕකේ සෝ යු යු ෂෙයර් ද පීස් ඔෆ් කේක් අලෝන් නේ සෝරි Can't have it. I I missed the first part of the lesson actually. Okay, okay. You you can learn from your colleagues. Okay. Sure. Sir. Yes, Miss uh, Sandeep. Sir, are you? Are you? I'm. Sir, is that okay to speak? So this is now out there. Uh oh, now the katha kali na ko. Sir, I have Kodak packet ka me download kare gaano ko ter. Ek anti matte me down kare daalat. Ena wa me check box the ka click finish text it set up kare la. ए चेक बॉक्स देख दे रन कोड एक ट्वीक टूल अनेक तरह को ओपन विंडोज़ डिफ़ॉल्ट एप सेटिंग्स ये देख सकते हैं क्लिक कर लाद फिनिश करानो नेट तक क्लिक करानो नेट मन आई क्या नहीं कि पालवी नहीं कर एक कोड एक कैसे गुड आप स्टेप्स देख आप क्या नहीं है वो कुछ चना स्कैन तो नेक्स्ट गिया अंतिम टाइम � Click finish to exit setup kiya that in the kalin tiya na check boxes dekha. Kati te ne run Kodak tweak tool. Aayi langi kati ne open windows default app settings. E dekha sir tick karala finish karana. Wada na ita ehe mama blank ko finish karana. Ehe mama blank ko finish karana ka optional. Hari sir. Optional right. Hari. Ni sandeep ne hari apni new project ta click karun bola na. Yeah okay sir. So, the, so I have shared. Hari, click on a new project. Are you seeing? Yes, sir. 
okay uh, uh, this project trader in this version of end view project trader in this version of end view can be open in previous version we are calling end view install color the button make it uh yes sir uh i have already installed through the link i have received okay i mean no no before this workshop have you ever tried in vivo in this computer uh no no sir no sir mm -hmm. through the email link only i have no, installed it, the software sir that is this morning no last night me because yes sir okay uh, please give a kind of a, a name in vivo test okay sir Sir, we are also receiving this message, sir. But your uh, no, no. It's now, there. But yeah. created in this version of InView cannot be opened in previous versions. Sir, so if, I... sir, if you try to once you do create the project, if you try to open it in the older software, it won't be possible. All right, okay. This is now, usual situation. See, in our software also it happens. Now here the problem is by default there has to be a kind of a file uh, this uh, URL. It doesn't come here. Please browse. Okay, sir. Browse and the... uh, oh, this is the problem. Yeah, sir. This is the problem I have encountered. Oh, save save type as could you please try to change that? Save type. Collaborate. Save. Yes, yeah. Server project. Yeah, sir. Uh, please cancel that. Cancel. In previous version, what is that is true, but why go to next? Click on next. Okay, sir. Recovery file is there. Create project. Just wait. Do it like five seconds. Okay. Sorry. Wait. Now cancel. Actually, it might be an uh, kind of their inbuilt issue. Okay, I cannot sir. give a solution. Please share your screen. I will give you a different uh, um, uh, yeah, alternative. Share your screen again. So after the uh, extract, sir. Yes, Deepa. After extracting all files, how we are going to open that uh, open project? Yeah, I will come to you again. Yeah. So trying to install that uh, the uh, product uh, file, okay. normal or advanced that we should select. Normal, as normal, as normal. So I have uh, shared. Yeah, I make a install vinegar man, die something. Uh once you get a kind of a window, please share kind of a window with co some commands. So I I have received welcome to the in vivo trial likewise. Me then then I share kind of thing, but I don't see that. Hari, uh, ek moka kari command that thing or the proceed hari mona hari. In vivo trial. Yeah, Launch in vivo. Yeah. Okay, so I, I'm going to share again. Mahudna Matapene. Matapene then Nika and we will make a vitra. Yeah, sir. So the part again. It's a thing. No, sir. Can you see? No, nah, I don't see. Ah, uh, tenta magi ni? Yes, sir. Hari me kya na devi ni kela sample project? Okay, sir. I don't know what has happened. Maybe now, uh, Miss Andipani, for the yes. time being. Please, okay. I mean, me, 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 me. just study what we are doing here. Okay, okay, and sir. After okay, the session, sir. please uninstall okay, the sir. NVivo and okay, reinstall sir. it. Okay, sir. Okay, Sorry. sir. I'll do. Thank right. you, sir. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Miss Deepa, you are to make upload. Karna back here, 
ोडे No, I have the. I, sorry, I have a little problem. I am using Office computer. I don't have the admin privilege to download this. Are you so okay? I, uh, looking at this, I will. Uh, I I'll take it after this sales. Right. Okay. Uh, Mr. Sir, Arun, we, uh, yeah, Mr. Bangla. Uh, sir, do we have to import all those files uh, into uh, NVMe now? Yes, everything, everything. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Everything. Everything inside that Beach Boys folder need to be imported to the. Uh, and vivo workstation right 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 okay okay but okay. suranga are you okay mr suranga okay yes i am good i uploaded all everything perfect uh, mr prasanna are you okay mr prasanna uh, in your folder sir book is important and interview transcript is important do we have to uh, uh, import anything else serama serama a literature in capture everything right serama in capture okay. karanna be anithewa serama beach boys ek athule serama miss dushanti is everything all right so i am in the process of uh, the uploading the documents the importing the documents sir right okay It's a bit slow because the computer is a little bit running slow. Right. Okay. Are we are going to. Excuse me, sir. I'm... Yes. Sorry. Yes. Excuse me, ma'am. Bandhu. Uh, so I try to upload the video file, but it there's a message. Uh, the format oh, oh. of the video file is not recognized. Ma'am, yes, so I know. Only... Oh, thank you, Mr. Bandhu. May I, I, I uh, told that earlier as well. You need to install the Kodak file I shared with you all. Perfect. Okay, thank you. You first install it, and thereafter only you can uh, upload the video file. Okay. 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 Body issue, actually, no, no, the crack, the trial version. Okay. Hari. Sir. Uh, yes, Mr. Arun. Video is it must today? Sir, the video. Because, Other than uh, I'm also running into small problem with the Kodak file. Sir, Kodak. All right. Chota bara na YouTube ko hum dekhi install karne ke. It says it clashes with the existing Kodak file. You already have the Kodak file, so why can't you Setup upload it? Setup has detected that on uh -huh. on to VP6 VSW Hare. installed on your computer. Mr. Arun, can't you upload the video into the uh, in vivo? एक तीनों ना वाट अपलोड करने को लोग तो यार कि अन्य मंटे डिसेबल करने से आई बिल नो यू कैन स्टॉप द इंस्टॉलेशन एंड अपलोड द वीडियो फाइल नाउ you can try if it has already been installed in your computer you can definitely upload the video file and atanaga sir how about you madam it's okay uh, I, i just do it no problem right okay Carry on. right sir can you give me one more minute i'm just importing everything yeah mr amrada you can share if you want No, I'm. Um, it's it's doing good. I'm just. Uh, All right. Okay. Little slow, little slow. My computer. Okay. Miss Amali, how about you? Amali, yeah. this in law. Uh, yes. So I had a small problem in downloading the app. So I'll be going through the video and do, trying it out this evening, sir. Yes, you need to have. Okay. Now yeah. oh, I'm I'm inviting back our uh, Miss Hiranya to share the screen, and thereafter we are going to organize the data. Miss Hirana, please uh, share the screen again. Right. Okay. Now she has imported like twenty nine different documents here. Now, okay. Now assume this is your workstation. 
මේක තමයි ඔයාගේ qualitative data analyze කරන workstation එක. Now what is the main problem here? Who can identify the main problem? Hmm? Don't open this, don't open. Different types of data together. Good, good. Different types of data together. So, so what? So we have to classify based on the type to different uh, areas, the word, the videos, etc. Very good, very good, Mrs. Suranga. Now we have different uh, types of data sources here. So according to the data type, data category, we need to categorize. Because I'm organizing here. Right, so there are different ways of organizing as well, but let's uh, follow this the, 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 the proper way. Miss Hirana, please take your cursor to the files in the navigation view. Navigation, okay? Who, 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 another one, what are they going to do? A tab, okay? Navigation view, we get a file like that. Yes, right click on it. And it's got to make a follow up again. Now, please right click. Once you right click, on the files under navigation view, you will get this new folder command. Please create a new folder. Now give a name. Now what type of data do we have? The first type thing are a, are a PDF word name according to the data type we have to give. First one is interview transcripts. Please write that. Oh, I missed it again. So I have imported everything now. Yeah, now we have, you have to follow us then. We are going to organize our data, right? Now click on OK. Right, now we have one uh, file or folder created for the interview transcripts, right? We do not have to be rushed, be hurry. Please take your cursor again back to the files and create a second folder. So do we need to give a description in that box or not? You must. A description not necessarily. Not necessarily. Right. Again, this is how we are going to create the folder. Please, uh, Miss uh, Hiranya, please repeat that action again. You take your cursor to the files. You can see the file now. Now, now look at the screen now. Right. She's there. She she right click on the files and she got this new folder. Select new folder. Click on it. Yes. Now you got a small command inbox. You give the name appealing data type up down literature you hit okay right now we have two different types of files to organize our two different type of data sources then up here, now we are going to select the interview transcripts we have 11 interview transcripts 1 to 11, please select them all. 1 to 11. The others can follow her. Now she has selected all of them. Now we need to take them out and put into the interview transcripts folder. Right? That is by dragging and dropping. You can simply drag and drop. Yeah. Select all. Drag and roll. Correct. And it there. Come on. I hope you are familiar with this drag and drop thing. You click it once and thereafter you can drag it. Now, once you click on the interview transcripts here, you can see all your transcripts are well saved in the interview transcript folder. So please follow the same method for the rest of the data items, Miss Hiranya. Thank you. You may stop share. Now, if you are having any problem, please share. Right. Um, I created literature. folders for the images, recordings, audios, videos, in capture, kiela, right? You can make different types of uh, different folders for different types of data. Any issues? All done? Good? Uh, hold on, sir. Maybe. Yeah. 
Mr. Pujita? Mr. Nilam, okay. Sir, on the literature, what are the files that we have to drag? Um, just look at the titles or, or the names of those PDF files you might see. You will be able to recognize by the name. That's called literature, right? Yeah. Actually, once you put all the interview transcripts into the interview transcripts folder. I did that. All right, okay. And thereafter, you can see the difference between the different types of data sources. Images, audios, and the videos, right? So this DSCN is the images, right? Yeah. Miss Darshi. Miss Miss Darshi. Miss Niluka Darshi. Mr. Prasanna. Mr. Prasanna, not with us. Get look, you know, Mr. Asanga. Yeah, 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 yeah. So all these PDF files go on the literature? Uh, I think, yes. If you have separated the book from the rest of the PDF files. Mr. Das, how about you? Or oh, Mr. Bandhu? Good, everything is good? Yes, sir. I am uh, making folders and uh, taking the document to the different, different folders. Right, okay. Miss Hiranya, please, uh, I need your screen again. Okay. <clears throat> Right, okay. Now uh, she has imported. Ma'am, uh, what are you doing? All right, books. Click on the books. All right, okay. Now she has nicely arranged her working uh, station. When you click on the audio files, you will see the audio files. Click on it. If yes, then the no, then never. Right. Okay. Fine. Uh, could you please try to play this small clip? Yes. Just play. Uh, would play button like that, you know? Ribbon, okay. Ribbon, okay. That's how you press that button. Ribbon, okay. Would. Ah, here, here. Sir. Can you hear it? We can't hear. So do uh, we have to do it now? Yeah. Miss Hiranya, can you hear it? Uh, yes. Ah, perfect. Okay, okay. You may stop it. Take a sound on the share when you are selecting the uh, Zoom uh, folder, Zoom screen, and go to the books. Now she has this book, and there are images, please. Click on one image, double click. Excellent, right. Interview transcripts. Right. Ara ara ara. Armanatin. Female tourism beach was a kevin. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. 
मतलब नहीं तो लामा drag and drag and drop कराने बोलो आंटों ने बोली the first two has to go into the me आ तू ए तू ना मैं ए तू ना मैं घिंडा ना literature वाले टाइम right perfect now go to the literature right okay here we go we have all the literature files as well the me vidhyata nathuwa inne kawuda the ara bb text ekai samarathunga 2018 ethi kohada sadanne a samarathunga 2018 you can put it under literature that bb text bb text yeah eka eka attrama adha kiyala folder ekak hadala da ganna eka evila rtf file ekak rich text file ekak एक मांग इंसर्ट करें वैन बुक थीम दरने में जस्ट टू शो यू दैट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स कैन बी अपलोडेड टू द इनव्यू सॉफ्टवेयर के निकाल पे ना राइट ग्रेट एनी इश्यूज एनी अदर इश्यूज नाउदिया आई ओके विथ योर वर्शन मिस नाउदिया चाहे मुके ऐसा है ना तो मैं BB टेक्स्ट का सब मैं ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप पे नहीं है नहीं का ये मुको एक ऐसा राइट क्लिक कर ले दान कर में आप तेरे को अनिति वो क्या ऐसा को मैं ऐसे ना ये को डिलीट कर लाए अपलोड करने सामने का ड्रैग ड्रॉप करने पुलवा एक है ना सेक क्लिक पुना तो ड्रैग पे नहीं करने प The BB text is the book, right? No, no, no. That's a small it's memo. It's other something else. That's a RTF file, like that. Rich text file, like that. Ah, oh, it goes should go on other. Yeah. Okay. Then, ah, uh, now uh, look at the navigation view. In the navigation view, we have very nicely we have stored our data, right? And we have even categorized. Now, this is really cool and important. For us to uh, stay focused and stay closer to the data set. Up a transcripts to get you know, pot the you know, up a journal articles of it. I'm gonna pull on right literature audio. You know, I'm gonna my author be um video. I'm gonna pull on me. Sir, I'm gonna you not able to install oh, yes. that for deck file. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I will. Oh, it's a pull on import carnival video file. Like a Uh, so I I unable because uh, the software is not. Uh, all right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Have I can install Karadi. You all can. Uh, I mean, after this session, you can mm. save the project. You can okay. close it and then try to install the codec file. Okay. You can install Karadi. Whatever. Let me put that I in view. Go open Karaga. Right. Right. Uh, now go back to the files. Click on it. Right now it is empty. Fine. Uh, now we have. Now it is twelve o'clock. Uh, do we have any questions? One hundred percent. Then other. Any issues? No. So this, um, I have one more in files that is codes. So that should be in a different folder, is it? What is the name of that file? Uh, codes. No, a code kilo file like man do me any. Can I? Yeah, Miss Hiranya, could you please stop share so we okay. look into Mr. Anuradha? Please share your screen. Yeah. yeah. Hari, now what's the issue? This one, sir. No, no, no. Me, what? Main, main screen. Okay, in me. Oh. You are in file, so this has to be empty at all the time. Because why? We have put many things or our data sources into subfolders that we created. Then what? Oh, oh, okay. Mugu, then what? 
don't worry ah so uh, this is normal right yeah this is normal mother othana tibba tika thama api ara eke eke folders walta dab right like this yeah oya age pota nae ne literally level da arthena literally level yes second from the bottom second from the bottom ah book health ah okay yeah, that's you can if you have to drag and drop into the book right right i go no, i have to escape from sharing and then do it is it no no nikama kan pula second row that may did you try to import a video as well the video file yeah i think the audio images is there any na nikama othana right click kala gihilla balana video file ekak thiyena open karana puluwan ge kiyala right click on this white space white empty space import items uh, or videos kelade videos ah okay yeah click on it ekana podi file ekak thiyena habarana ban puluwan ge import all right which means that you have to install the codec file right ओपन <laughs> ओपन जापुर थोड़े हैं ना आया एक वेना में वेल आते समारोह की तीब्बा मंदर है ईमेल छुट्टा बोला सर नो सर हैज़ टू बी ओपन इन द विंडोस बट ट्राइंग टू डू इस टू इंपोर्ट इट हैज़ टू बी ओपन इन द विंडो विंडो द नॉर्मल विंडो देन यू कैन सी लवरामी Mr. Anuradha, please stop share. Okay. All right, sir. Miss uh, Hiranya, could you please share the labaram? Right. Here we go. Uh, now this is a small case study about X. expectations of two diners at a reputed restaurant in colombo actually it occurred to me and one of my friends we wanted to do something and okay something came terribly so now we want to now i want you to qualitatively analyze this particular case study right with coding manual coding then in view ekata daganna depa now uh, the assignment the task is to compare the expected experience and the perceived experience of these diners me diners lage expected experience ekak mokadda e wage me egulanta perceive wecha de attrama labicha de mokadda kiyala we need to understand right so uh, this is how we are going to do it miss hiranne ara udda highlight kiyana tool ekak thiyena ne ඒක අර arrow mark එක click කරන්න පුළුවන් එහා පෙත් දකුණු පෙත් yeah now here you find different colors then සමහර pdf වල නැහැ සමහර අය විතරක් තියෙනවා you can select any of the colors and you can highlight whatever the important thing that will help you to complete this task our task is to compare the expected experience and the perceived experience එතකොට එතකොට කෝඩ්ස් හදන ඒවා හරි ඒ සේරම ඔගොල්ල කරන්න ඕන. ඒ වගේම එක හා සමාන ඉන්ෆෝමේෂන් එනවා නම් එක පාටකින් කෝඩ් කරන්න බලන්න. රයිට්? ෆෝර් එක්සැම්පල් ට්‍රාන්ස්පෝට් ගැන තියෙනවා නම් මේ ඩොකියුමන්ට් එකේ හැම තැනම ට්‍රාන්ස්පෝට් ගැන තියෙනවා නම් ඒක කහ පාටට විතරක් යවන්න. ඒතරම් අනිත් ඒවා ඔගොල්ලෝ තීරණය කරගන්න. 
just a suggestion right so that is the code in process so tomorrow we will learn how to do the code in by looking at your transcriptions right which you code hmm? so that is your take home activity uh, did you understand it yes sir i'm going to type that uh, thing into you your uh, uh, stop share yeah stop share some other Here I sent you the assignment, the case, right? So that's it for uh, today. Or uh, a manual ikaran. So we any questions? Do we have any questions? So, oh, Miss Nawal, yeah. Post post positivism. Can a mix method? Can I say to you any post positivism? Post positivism make a mix method. Let me bahu vita ikaran bolwa. We can use. Ha. So pragmatism. Can I talk about a ियमेंटिजमेंटिजमेंटिजमेंटिजमेंटिजमेंटिजमेंटिजमेंटिजमेंटिजमेंटिजमेंटिजमेंटिजमेंटिजमेंटिजमेंटिजमेंटिजमे
యూస్ ఇన్ ద డేటా అనాలిసిస్ డిరెక్ట్లీ ఎక్కడ హేతు వాక్ తీయనా బట్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ యువర్ పిహెచ్డి వెన్ యూఆర్ డూయింగ్ సమ్ అదర్ రీసెర్చ్ యూ కెన్ యూస్ ద ఆడియోస్ అండ్ ద వీడియోస్ యాజ్ డిరెక్ట్ డేటా ఇన్పుట్స్ బట్ అట్ దిస్ లెవెల్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ రికమెండ్ although we have the technology the main nvo ke the technology ke you know you can upload whatever you are recording into the nvo platform and they will transcribe it for you it will save your time by hours and hours days and days and weeks and weeks but don't do that ekata hetu samai in qualitative research we the, the the qualitative researchers really have to dive into the data plunge into the data kiyala api kiyanne because we are looking for the not only the manifest content but also the latent content in the you need to look at the meanings behind the words etakota ara ape ape recommend practice ekak thamai ape ara interview transcripts we have to read at least two times before we start the coding etakota ogolo ekka paata ara ara ka ahagena ahagena code karagena yana nan ekena loku prashna ekak wenna puluwa because you do not get the overall picture common common else is talking ఎక్స్ట్రాక్షన్లీ డూ నాట్ try to analyze the audios or the videos you will definitely skip some key points key catchy themes mokada api open coding only podi podi phrases aragena sentences aragena paragraph aragena api wa build ekata join karanna ona we need to combine them together now we as a qualitative researchers we need to read them two times the entire transcript is sampurin kiyowa matama apita me idea ekenne what what does this data trying to say us what did he try to communicate us right so we need to go for this meaning behind to it in that it is highly recommended that you manually transcribe the audios or the videos into the words right it was a made data tika thiyana tharamata thamai apita meka hariyata upload karanna puluwang wenne api end view ka bavitha karanna puluwang wenne or even getting the uh, correct information okay thanks uh, no what i wanted to know after uh, after capturing that transcription is it possible whatever you mentioned to do it uh, you we can use that as a raw data and then read and structure manually uh, you know to read behind the meaning to yeah, yeah. identify yeah, so the internal in raw input you can extract no otherwise it will be a, a kind of it will take a lot of time no i also asked this for some other purpose if uh-huh. anybody wants to use say for example employee interviews uh-huh. let us say if you are using this uh, software uh, is it possible to uh, upload everything and then uh, do the analysis uh, that type of a thing sir yeah yeah okay do we have any other question some cannot find the lavaram so i'm going to share the lavaram with you uh let's see let's see again it is anyway shared earlier I sent it. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Hari, uh, if there are no further questions, please attend to that uh, take home activity, right? So we will go through that tomorrow. Api de hetatin hawa sa hai indra naam eme nekang, right? And I will be joining with you from some corners of Vilpattu. Um, <laughs> now I have to go to Vilpattu right now for some other assignments. <laughs> yeah, but there's one place that I find signal. Don't worry, we have the 4G there. in the top of a tree <laughs> me yes hari uh, other uh, so today we began i'm going to conclude the session now so today we began with the introduction to the qualitative research and the need for qualitative research and what 
what we as a phd student postgraduate students and the researchers from sri lanka what we really have to look into api theoretical contribution ek gena katha kara academic contribution ek gena katha kara we spoke a little bit about the uh, we compared a little bit about the quantitative and the qualitative findings and the analytical methods nikan api kiwa the empty can list api danagena innona content analysis danagena innona grounded theory danagena innona kiyala me software ek gena katha karanna right and thereafter we open up the software we 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 just understood the key or the basic features of the software we uploaded couple of documents right documents upload karagin andru gatta what type of documents can we upload and we we opened them up we reviewed them it was this then we categorized the data according to the data types we are having right so they were the base, uh, the basic things we discussed today and i'm going to uh, wind up now i hope you understood my session and uh, it is digestible uh? and uh, so monahari mang venas kar ganna onna please pass it down to your coordinators so uh, accordingly i can adjust myself mai thanne tere nathi kattiyata so let's say goodbye then thank you sir thank you sir have a safe journey thank you thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir